is up you guys it is abby andrew and welcome back to my channel i don't know what this was and i'm a little bit embarrassed about it but there's no going back now right okay <laughs> so today's video topic is going to seem very very oddly specific but if you are someone that has alopecia and slash or wears wigs I'm sure this has gone through your mind before because I have gotten a lot of questions about this specific topic even though it is very specific and I know that I myself have worried about this over the years of wearing wigs and trying to keep it a secret and so on so I definitely know it is a thing that us wig wearers have thought about and have worried about and that is going to be roller coasters with wigs. So this video is kind of going to be like talking a lot about roller coasters, but it also applies to a lot of other activities that involve something that might make you fear your wig flying off. So that can involve a lot of other things like, I don't know, doing gymnastics, cartwheels. The other, a couple weeks ago, I rode a mechanical bull with a wig. I'm going to talk about that a little bit as well, because that's a whole hilarious story in itself. So just generally activities like that, that you might fear your wig coming off in these instances. So I'm going to talk about a couple of personal experiences I've had with this. Um, I'm going to talk about what you can do to make your wig more secure and just talking about also in general the right mindset to be in when going into these situations and making the choice of taking the risk or purposely avoiding things just so you don't have to worry about it. So let me jump right into all of those beautiful topics. So I think that many of you guys might find this very relatable that for most of my life, for most of my childhood, which is when you would probably want to be riding roller coasters in the first place for the most part, whenever I went to amusement parks, my first question when I was considering going on a ride wearing a wig was, will this make my wig fall off? And of course, as at a young age, I hid the fact that I had alopecia for most people, like usually my friends would know, um, but most other people didn't know. And in general, if strangers see you wearing a wig and, and they're not close up, or if it looks very realistic, they're not gonna know either. So I really never ever wanted to be in a situation where I had to tell them. And much worse was the thought of my wig flying off and them like being shocked. And because that's always just the most awkward situation to be in. I wanted to avoid that so much as a kid that I would just not go on roller coasters. And for the most part, with really close friends, I would maybe tell them like, why that it was because I didn't want my wig to fall off but for most people I would just kind of pretend it was a fear of these rides of roller coasters I would just pretend that I was really really scared of them meanwhile a lot of the times that was all I wanted was to go on these rides <laughs> um, there was basically a lot of rides growing up that I would want to go on as a kid but did it because I was just too scared not of the ride but of my wig flying off and being like publicly humiliated or that's how it seemed like it would be to me as a kid so what I want to talk about is the fact that that feeling of public humiliation, that is up to your own interpretation. And this is something that I'm only coming to terms with as of the past like year or so, even though I've been conquering my alopecia confidence within the last like four years, I've been like really tackling it and like going public with it and all that. Only within the last one year have I been really challenging myself to do things that I'm afraid of like that, like my wig falling off or something, just to kind of like push myself to do it even if I am still afraid of it. So for the very first time in my life, last year, at the age of 23 in May of 2018, that was the first time I ever went on a legit roller coaster. <laughs> Is that not crazy? Like growing up, I probably went on some like baby basic roller coasters, but nothing with like loops, nothing that went too fast, nothing that would make me fear my wig flying off. And last year was the first time that I went on a legit roller coaster like that. And let me tell you how I got myself into that situation and how I ended up changing my mindset to just say like, I'm just gonna do it despite my fear. So the week leading up to, I think me and my friends all went on a Saturday and the week leading up to it, I had agreed to go because I like going places with my friends, I like activities and I didn't want to say no to going to Six Flags, which was the amusement park we went to. I didn't want to say no to going just because I was afraid of my wig falling off on rides. All of my friends obviously know that I wear wigs, so I knew that they wouldn't pressure me to ride rides that I was like too nervous about if I said that that was my concern. So I knew that I'd be able to go with them and like not have to worry about like lying to them about it or something. So at the very least, if they were all going on a roller coaster, I knew that I could at least like sit and watch. And honestly, that was my plan. 
<laughs> and me and one of my other friends, my other friend, uh, she actually is afraid of roller coasters. So my plan was to stick with her the entire day while everyone else in our group, like five other people, rode the roller coasters. I was planning on just like going off with this other girl and riding like the baby rides because I was too worried about my wig falling off on these rides. And to be honest, there was a small part of me that is genuinely afraid of roller coasters, but the most for the most part, it was the fear of the wig coming off. So pretty much the whole week leading up to this like amusement park day that we were all going on, I was determined to not go on any of the rides, pretty much. Like I was gonna pay for the day pass and then like pretty much not do anything all day, which is fine, but like uh, it was also a food truck festival that day, so I was going like mostly for that or so I was telling myself. But as soon as we get there, um, my friend who said she was afraid of roller coasters, she decides that she wants to try at least one or two roller coasters. So I was like, okay. At first I was probably just gonna like sit and watch by myself, but then I was like, you know what? This, I am tired of sitting out and letting my alopecia and wearing wigs control me from doing things that I wanna do. I'm gonna do it anyway. And even though I was making the big decision in my mind to do it, that doesn't mean that I was suddenly no longer afraid of my wig falling off in these rides. To be honest, I was still very terrified that it would fall off. And the entire time as we were like approaching the roller coaster area of the park, I was thinking like, should I take my wig off and put it in a locker just so I can just like get it over with and take it off myself? Should I attempt to wear it? How am I gonna hold it on the ride? Should I like really tighten it? Should I hold on to it? So <laughs> I'm pretty much thinking about this the entire time between like while we're at the lockers, I'm like, should I put it in the locker? Just take it off and put it in the locker and shock everyone around me. So it's so funny that like all these thoughts were going through my head and I was even like talking about them with my friends, which was like kind of comforting me because I was getting to the point where I was talking to them about it so much about what would happen if it fell off that it almost would have been like funny to me if it did fall off. And that's what I was talking about earlier, how you really have to kind of change your mindset because I know it is different. I know there's still some of you, especially like younger people who your friends, some of your friends might not even know that you wear wigs. I encourage you to open up to them because your friends care about you. Your friends want you to feel comfortable and happy. And if, if you have some sort of insecurity like alopecia and wearing wigs, your friends will be supportive of you if you tell them the truth. And if they're not, then they're not good friends to begin with. So just getting that out of the way. If your friends don't know, I do encourage you to tell them, but I do understand that some of you might not be ready for that. So um, take your time and maybe like work your way up to that if you can. But it did really help me a lot that all my friends knew. My friends were like laughing with me and joking about it. Like we were all almost like making jokes about like, oh, we gotta go retrieve Abby's wig now. Like we gotta go find it in the park because it flew off this giant roller coaster and now it's like two miles away. <laughs> So as we were getting closer to the ride, I was able to kind of look ahead and look at the way the seat secures you in. And that's actually a tip for you. If you are going to ride a roller coaster with wigs, you can kind of look at the way the seat is positioned and the straps are positioned to see if there actually is kind of a way to naturally hold it on yourself. So this one ride, if you're familiar with Six Flags rides, I'm not sure if all the roller coasters are, same, are the same at like every location. But the one that I was at, they were all like DC superhero themed ones. So this one was Superman. And the reason it's called Superman is because you're like laying forward like this the whole time. So it's almost like you're flying. And as you're getting into the seat, something like comes over your head, like a strap that's over your whole body like that. And the straps, like the, the not the straps, like the bars, like the padded bars were like here. So I was actually wearing this wig that day for God knows why. <laughs> probably because I wasn't expecting on going on the rides in the first place. I didn't decide to go on the rides till it was already there. So I'm wearing this like glamorous wig about to go on roller coasters, expecting it to fly off across the park. Literally my favorite wig. If I had lost this that day, I would have been a little bit devastated. <laughs> when I was able to look ahead and actually look at the way the straps were positioned, I was able to start like planning out how I was gonna hold it on. <laughs> um, so when I actually got into the seat, I realized that I could have my hair forward like this and then like hold on to the hair as I'm holding on to the straps. That's what I was doing. <laughs> and it actually worked really, really well. This ride had loops and everything. You're flying like forward like this. And I never once felt like the wig was insecure. I never at all felt like it was gonna fall off, which I was amazed by considering that there was like full loops, loop-de-loops on this roller coaster. And it's going so quick too. The other thing is that I would not recommend, if you're afraid of your wig falling off on rides, only 
wear wigs that are like super super secure on your head like maybe literally try to like go upside down or like do cartwheels and see if it budges like that because I could probably do cartwheels in this wig and it wouldn't fall off because it fits me like it's supposed to like the uh the adjustable strap tightens to like to like the perfect circumference of my head so it fits perfectly and I also don't wear like glue or tape on my wigs or anything like this just fits perfectly so it feels comfortable and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off and to be honest, if you're really worried, like I wouldn't recommend wearing your wigs like this regularly because it's probably very uncomfortable, but if you're really concerned, you can even like tighten those straps even more so that they're like, it's really, really tight on your head. I think that's actually what I did that day too. I just kind of like reached under my cap while I was still wearing it and like tightened the strap underneath the cap because I was like, Ugh, I'm gonna need this to be as tight as possible today. But you know what? It worked and I was so shocked that it worked that when I got off the ride I was like so ready to go on more roller coasters I was like so excited and I was like why did I wait my whole life to test this out but you know why that is it's because when I was growing up if my wig fell off on a ride when I was like 15 or something I would have been mortified embarrassed I would have like probably hid away somewhere for like weeks and weeks because I was so mortified but that's the thing is that it's all about perspective. The way that I was able to like convince myself that it would have been funny if it fell off, it almost got me like giggly and like laughing at that idea rather than being afraid of it. And I was actually very shocked by how much that was able to have an impact on my perspective in the situation. It just completely changed the way I looked at it growing up in that moment. So after we rode Superman and it was all totally good, we proceeded to go to um, the Green Lantern roller coaster, which is a whole separate story in and of itself because my friend who was with us, who is like a roller coaster enthusiast, <laughs> this is actually so funny. To him, none of the roller coasters are scary because he loves them so much. So to him, like a tiny baby roller coaster is gonna be like the same scary level as like a giant, crazy, like loop de loop jumps across through the air roller coaster like to him it's all the same difference so as we were approaching this next roller coaster which was green lantern i was asking him like oh like how much scarier is this than the last one and he was like oh you know it's the same difference whatever but this roller coaster was so bizarre it's one that you stand up on and then i think the straps were similar to superman where it's like over your body so again i was able to kind of um hold on to it like this the same way as i did on superman and this one too also had like a headboard behind you, which also helps to hold it on. It also had like, um, it had like things here next to your head and one behind, that looks really funny, sorry. <laughs> it had like barriers here and one behind. So I knew I could also like lean my head back against it to hold the wig on or to the side. Like there were so many things I could like lean my head on to hold the wig in place. So that's kind of another thing to look for if you are looking for something to help you hold your wig in place if you're on a roller coaster. But it was so funny that we went on this roller coaster next because it turned out to be so much worse than the one before it that like I no longer even cared about my wigs at this point anymore. I was actually like terrified of this roller coaster for real. Like I had already gotten my fill of roller coasters after those two because the second one was so genuinely terrifying that I pretty much didn't go on any other roller coasters the rest of the day. But it was really funny how it shifted from being because of wearing wigs to being because I was afraid of roller coasters. <laughs> like I actually developed like a genuine fear of roller coasters after that one because when you're on it, it's so uncomfortable, first of all, because you're standing the whole time. And then second of all, I was saying there's like these two barriers here, right? This roller coaster goes so quickly and it rattles so hard that your head is like banging against the sides of it the whole time. And every single one of us getting off that roller coaster felt like we had concussions because your head is just being like smacked against all these like barriers the whole time. Honestly, the design of that roller coaster seat, I feel like is flawed for that reason. I feel like that cannot be safe. <laughs> But I was still extremely pleasantly surprised that I was able to conquer my fear of going on roller coasters despite- well, it wasn't a fear of roller coasters, it was a fear of my wig falling off on roller coasters. I was really happy that I was able to conquer that and just go anyway and change my mindset to being, well, if it falls off, it'll be funny and just genuinely have a fun day with my friends and like make jokes about it and not have to worry. And I think that was just really, really refreshing for me because I had never like pushed myself in that way, at least not in recent years. And it just felt really, really good to do that. And it was almost like a little bit of a bonding experience with the friends I was with because it was just a reminder that even if they know about me wearing wigs and having alopecia, they're not going to think I'm weird for it. They're not going to like talk shit behind my back and all that. Like they're going to be supportive. And if you tell your friends if they don't know, I'm speaking mostly to like younger people now because I think it's like a different, 
it's a different dynamic when you're still in school and your friends are like your support network pretty much like your friends are more than likely going to be very very supportive and if they're not then they're not good friends they're not really good people or at least they have some growing up to do okay <laughs> it's just a reminder that we all have things we're insecure about and like the what are friends for but to like boost your confidence make you feel secure make you feel loved and um, help you to conquer these fears that we all have in one form or another but now fast forward to another event in uh, the beginning of january 2019 uh, that last story was May 2018. This one is January 2019. I rode a mechanical bull. And I'm not going to go into s such detail with this story because it's pretty much the same like basis as the previous story. But I was in a bar with a bunch of my friends in New York City and it had a mechanical bull. And I'd never been to a bar with a mechanical bull before, but it looked so much fun. I kept watching people like getting knocked off of it and riding it. And I kept like looking at it and thinking like, yeah, I could do a pretty good job with that. That looks like fun. Part of me was terrified about injuring myself on the bull. And a little bit of me was, again, terrified that my wig would fly off on it. But it was kind of the same situation all over again. I was with a group of friends that I trusted and like was comfortable with. And obviously I'm very open about having alopecia now, so if you know me at all, you probably know that I have alopecia, just because I post about it on social media so much and all that. So it was a very similar situation where I was like joking to all my friends, like how funny would it be if my wig fell off? Like I genuinely, I was at a point where I was joking about it so much that like a small part of me actually wanted it to fall off because I thought it would make the funniest video. That would have gone viral, okay? Would it not? A girl on a mechanical bull, her wig flies off and she goes up and like picks it up afterwards. Like I had this whole image like planned out in my imagination <laughs> uh, of what it would, of what would have happened if it did fall off. Like I thought it would have been the funniest thing ever. <laughs> but I'll even insert the clip of me riding the mechanical bull here. It actually turned out to be very anticlimactic because uh, if you watch the people riding the bull, you really quickly notice how much easier the operator goes on girls, which is like kind of sexist, but at the same time, I was also a little bit thankful because I didn't want to injure myself. Uh, but it's really funny because if you watch the video, it's actually going like so slow. Meanwhile, here I was afraid that I was gonna like break my neck or something. But like when I fell off eventually, it's so funny because I felt him like slowly starting to speed up the bull, the operator. And I got to a point where I was like, eh, I'm bored. And when I fell off, like I could have probably stayed on but I was just kind of over it and I just let myself slide off because I knew that if I stayed on much longer, he would have made it scary, which is what I didn't really want. And then when I got off the bowl and I got out of that like little pen area, I actually found myself a little bit disappointed that my wig did not in fact fall off because that would have made that video 10 times funnier and probably viral. <laughs> so I guess I made this video for a couple of reasons, partially to give advice for if you want to go on things like roller coasters while wearing a wig and also to say, it's all about your perspective. So I'll touch on that one first is what, like I was saying in the video, it's all about your perspective. If you see something as scary, it's gonna be scary. Whereas if you start making jokes about something you're nervous about or insecure about, it's gonna be funny. Think of like comedians who are self-deprecating and stuff. Not that I'm supportive of being self-deprecating in like a self-hatred kind of way, but it's just all about finding humor in things that you struggle with because what's the point of life if we're just going to let ourselves be controlled by these things and not everyone in the world has alopecia obviously but everybody has some insecurity that they're dealing with and how much better off would we all be if we just embrace these things and found the humor in them rather than letting them control us but then for those of you who are concerned about it the tips that i was saying before like look at the seat of the roller coaster and see if there's anything that you can like hold on to so you can actually hold your wig i would have thought that a shorter wig would have been better for roller coasters but after riding it and realizing that I could like literally hold the wig on with the hair, I would actually recommend wearing a longer wig on a roller coaster. I was very surprised about that because like I was saying, when I went to the amusement park that day, I was not expecting to go on rides, which is the only reason why I wore a longer wig. Otherwise, I probably would have worn a short one. But then when I was actually getting on the ride, I realized the longer wig is almost like handles for holding it on, which like sounds weird to say, but it definitely applied. I also would not recommend wearing a wig that you like love so much because um, first of all, if it does fall off, that's bad. If you like lose it or something and you loved that wig, that's not a good thing. <laughs> but also because it can probably mess up the wig or possibly, 
I don't think this wig actually got messed up at all, but there is a possibility, so I wouldn't take that risk if I was you. I was just being an idiot that day, to be honest but it all worked out. And then the other tip was just to make sure that the cap is totally secure. Again, I wasn't wearing like wig glue or wig tape or anything, but that's another thing you can do. Wig glue would probably help a lot. And the last thing I want to say is basically, if you would be absolutely devastated if your wig fell off on roller coasters, then I guess my first tip would be to try to change your perspective, but before you're able to change your perspective, maybe just avoid roller coasters in the meantime because I don't want to encourage you to get yourself into a situation that would just make yourself feel devastated if it did happen to fall off. So only attempt to do these things if you're able to maybe find humor in it or like think it's not so bad. But I actually think that the chances of your wig falling off if it is really, really secure in your head aren't honestly that high. But do just do these things with caution, just because I wouldn't want to put you in a situation where your wig falls off and you're devastated and it's all my fault. So just still be cautious and use your own best judgment. All right, that is all I have to say in this video. I hope you guys got a kick out of some of these stories. I hope you also were able to gain some perspective if you are considering going on a roller coaster or something with wigs and it's been a concern for you in the past. I hope these were at least relatable stories. Let me know if you guys have any good stories in the comments below or also advice or anything like that. I would love to make a separate video about times my wig has fallen off in public, but to be honest, it hasn't happened to me for a very, very long time. But I think that would be a very funny video topic for the future. Uh, if you want to comment below, let me know what you think of that idea and I will film it if I get enough um, requests for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe and all that stuff. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next video.